All right, thank you, Tony. We have new details tonight on Providence Mayor Jorge Alores' proposed budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Details were announced tonight over at City Hall, where the mayor was met by hundreds of teachers and their supporters who packed City Hall in protest. The Alorza administration and teachers union have been at odds over contract negotiations now for months. Tonight, I would assume supporter Sheena Lashuto was asked about how those negotiations are going. She joins us now live from City Hall with more. Sheena. Well, Mike, the hallways outside of the chambers at City Hall were packed as the mayor made his budget address. And one thing that was not included in the proposal was a raise for teachers. And that did not sit well with protesters. I present the fiscal year 2019 proposed budget. Mayor Jorge Alorza gives his fourth budget address as the capital city's leader. Joining him this year, a crowd of teachers quietly waiting outside the council chambers with their signs, hoping to send a message. If you can't budget um, for all of the entities that are servicing the community, then that's his problem, not my problem. Providence teachers have been working without a contract since last August and say they're unhappy with the lack of movement on negotiations. Back in February, Providence teachers overpowered the mayor at his state of the city address for the same reason. Yet 94 days later, I haven't heard hide nor hear about negotiations. The budget does, however, include a proposal to borrow $20 million to invest into Providence school buildings. Mayor Lorza says students will remain his priority. This is the state's capital city. As goes Providence, so goes the state. Both the mayor and the president of the Providence Teachers Union say they're looking forward to a conclusion. They just don't know when they will find one. I don't expect anything at this point. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But, you know, the days of giving away more than the city can afford, those days are done. We don't do that anymore. And the president of the Providence City Council, David Salvatore, tells us he's hoping to set up a meeting with the mayor and the president of the teachers union to see how he can help them move forward. Now, I told both parties that and they say they are open to it. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.